Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of A Pretty Little Podcast. I'm Allie, Violet Vixen Commissaro, and I'm here with the beautiful Jessie. Hi guys, welcome back. So, so much crazy shit has been happening this week. It's been nuts. Between different shows and, I mean, we've had a lot of celebrities pass this week. I know. I was so upset about Shelley Duvall, um, especially she's such a style icon for me personally. And I just, like, I wanted to see her have a comeback so badly because I feel like she was not supported by her community um, of, like, actors. I felt like um, in the entertainment industry, I feel like the entertainment industry needs to do more to um, defend a lot of um, actors who are going through things mentally and believe, um, like, their stories and stuff like that because I feel like there's so many actors that the one either come out about something and people don't believe them or are struggling with their mental health and people don't um, support them. So I'm really sad to see that she passed because I really wanted her. It always ends up being like a documentary yeah. afterwards. Yeah. I like love after the after movie. the problem, like everybody has kind of ignored it and mm -hmm. let it go. Then they like do the whole documentary and we all look back and like, I, I know we do something. I know. And, and it's so sad. Um, I feel like it's like, where are people when um, you need them? Like in the entertainment industry. So I, this is like my, my message to the entertainment industry. I think that um, people should just be persecuted less for having um, struggles. And I feel like that they're, the entertainment industry needs to. Um, I think that being in the spotlight at all Mm -hmm. like for the most part with most people on average, like I think it just takes its toll on you. Yeah. I mean, like even us being on a small scale, like, I mm -hmm. mean, I know I'm always worried about my teeth. I'm always worried like that, like a piece of hair. Right. Isn't Absolutely. Out straight. Yeah. Like, I mean, could you only imagine if you were like on like a hit TV show. I mean, people <laughs> people make comments about like how funny my faces are sometimes when you pause me. Like, could you imagine having the pressure of being on Netflix and being when paused? I had, with a, um, when I had a larger following online. It took the piss out of it, <laughs> like on um, the internet for me, because I felt like there's so much, um, like too many eyes on you almost so you start questioning just everything that you do and then it makes a lot of living for other people like it makes you start thinking about minute details of your own life to make other people more comfortable when you shouldn't be doing that you should be truly living for you entirely you know um, and I feel like that's one thing with the internet because it 99.9% .9 of people might love you, but if you, there's always going to be one person who's going to be a critic, you know? Well, I feel like also it kind of depends how somebody came to know about you, especially like in my position. I mean, I've done so many things through the years with mm -hmm. like so many different crowds. Yeah. And then like I've done the photo shoots. I've done music video. I've done so many different outlets mm -hmm. for like, it, it's my way of like being an artist. Like I've yeah. done so many different things that it's kind of crazy sometimes when like, people come up to me and tell me the story of the first time they met me. And like, and you're like, like, what? I'm like, wow. Like, I like, <laughs> thanks for not judging me. <laughs> yeah. Right. But 